Okay. All right. So we were right here. I want you to hold him. I want you to hold him because I got. I need both hands to get. No, just hold the back. His back feet and his tail. Oh, I got it. There you go. Yeah. Just hold him. He'll stay calm. I'll put some over his face if he needs. He might not like that, but so I need you to hold him. Now we've already disinfected and trimmed. So let's get my hemostats. I know. Luckily, this is a cool bird. That's why we want to breed them. His temperament so awesome. So what we gotta do is I should have trimmed them a little more, but I don't. The feathers are causing issues. Yeah. Get these feathers all the way. What we need to do. All right. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. What I don't want is I don't want the I don't want the edges to be wet because I need the super glue to adhere. You know what I mean, Bishop? Yeah. He's already see the bubbling right there? Yeah. That's the fascia drying out and I kinda don't really want that, but it it's fine. It's, it is what it is. It'll just make the healing a little slower. But we, what we need to do is find the edges that we need. All right, so I'm gonna get this the hemostat here and let's, we're gonna go from one edge to the other. So I'm going to, we need this super glue. Gosh. Do we need to wipe it off first? No, I don't want, what we need to do is I need to adhere, we need to work our way down and get these two, get the edges together. Or maybe I should put, I should do the middle. So let's do, let me get the hemostat on here so I can hold it. Okay, we'll do it by the feathers. Let's see, where's our edge? Our edge is right about, I know buddy, I know, I know, it's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna have a great time. Oh my goodness, I just so here's super glue. Okay, we're gonna go right there. Okay, I want you to blow in there. We need that that super glue to hold that edge. That edges. There we go. Now it's held. That actually worked. Yes. We I've don't heard want, of it. Never we don't want it to come back apart. But what we do want is we want to make sure that all the other edges. See, this is open. Ouch. So we need to get this edge over here. Okay. That's it. And we're gonna have to trim. I don't know, buddy. You're good. You're such a good bird. I'm telling you, dude. This is why I want to breed this bird. Temperament is freaking fantastic. Okay, we don't want those feathers going hand. The one we're going where? Inside the wound. Well, we don't want it in the wound. But we gotta get. All right, we need to get this. All right. Going in the face. What's it? Okay. Oh yeah, it's four. We gotta get this lateral. Actually, I can't believe it. Let me get this lateral edge glued. Man. Sorry, dude. Sorry. The feathers are just getting in my way. Oh. What? What? No, I just thought I'd. Nothing. Alright. Let's get these in. Let's get this. Alright. We're gonna go to this edge here. I bet you this happened last night. Okay. I need two. I wish I had two hemostats. All right. 
What I don't want is I don't want to get the feather, the follicles of the feather. Yeah. And underneath the wound. That's what I don't want. And then it'll take a long time to heal. And then the feathers are going to be growing inside of the wound underneath the under, underneath body, the dermal. When does body get rid of it? Uh, you probably get abscesses and stuff. So we'll, I think he'll be all right. Pigeons are not as... What's wrong with this other eye? Oh, never mind. So I, let's see what we got over here. Okay. Now we have... Look at this. I didn't realize how much feathers were going to be in the way before I laid you down, buddy. All right. Uh, wish I, had a, I wish I had a pigeon shaver. All right, so... Oh, the wound's closed. We'll be all right. Let's try to make sure all these feathers are out of the wound. Alright, so yeah. This one won't even need to, let's just glue this edge up here. I think we'll be alright. That top, uh, the top nest box in, in yeah, inside yeah. is clean. It is. I think so. I'm asking you, because we need to get him in there, and we need him on a on a full dose of of antibiotics. He needs to be in there for for at least a week. Of antibiotics. And we'll just make sure that this is. We got a little bit of an open wound here. Oh, I don't want those feathers in there. Let's pull these feathers up. Oh yeah, see that hole there? Okay, and... Gosh. I know, it stings a little bit, doesn't it? But look at that. that, that all that bird did was turn his head. What a good bird. Super glue his eye or something? No, he's just trying to keep the sun out of it. Okay. I think let me let me double check, make sure there's make sure at least all oh, there's a little hole here. You know what? I think we want the hole. I think we do. What hole? You see that hole there? I don't think we want it totally enclosed. We want it to be able to breathe. Yeah, it, it, oh, yeah. Ooh, this looks that's just super glue right there. Oh, okay. But I think we want a small bit of a little bit of a hole there. We want it to so be able to dra air out. so it can drain if it needs because there if there's an effect right. yeah because there's gonna be fluids and if there's any infection it needs a, a way out so it doesn't abscess. Well, that's my son's first lesson in bird <laughs> bird medicine. So now look at that bird. Hmm? I bet different. you he's a little bit stressed. He usually is cooing and fighting and biting at you. Even when we even in the hand like this, will you put that put that on that? And then we need to make up a, a dose of antibiotics for him. Let's get him in quarantine. All right, we will uh, we'll let you know how he looks in a week. Go ahead. Just pause.